We have all seen the traditional 2D scans, which have been used in maternity units for the last 30 years. But recently, technological advances have brought about 3 and 4D imaging, which gives a much more detailed view of the unborn baby in the womb. The images are so striking that obstetricians can diagnose abnormalities which previously were unseen until the birth of the baby and therefore they can forewarn parents about possible problems. There are now businesses which offer these scans privately. Parents can keep a DVD on file and even make the pictures of their babies into a screensaver for their computer. In Reading, Anna Salisbury of Future Babies has been operating for one year and the interest in their services is increasing. When I was pregnant with our daughter, Jasmine, um, I went to have a scan done. I went for a 2D one, but then found out that you could have this 3D scan. And it was just amazing. It was so beautiful. And there was hardly anywhere in the country at the time that you could have one done. So we thought that would be quite a good idea for a business. So that's why we started. For Michelle and her partner, Alistair, the opportunity to see their baby in detail is fantastic and Alastair's mum, Judith, can't hide her delight at seeing her new grandchild, even if it is sticking its tongue out. Tongue stuck right out at you there. <laughs> Takes off, you? The 4D scan uses exactly the same frequency of ultrasound as you have at your normal 2D scan. Obviously we use fully qualified sonographers, we adhere to all the British Medical Ultrasound Society's guidelines, so there's no risk at all. And Loads of studies have been done all around the world, um, quite comprehensive studies, and they've never found any harm caused to mother or baby through the use of ultrasounds. Which can be very flexible. We don't make any medical checks, so we always make sure that everyone's had their 20-week hospital scan before they come in, just to be sure that there's no complications or any problems with the baby, or at least we won't get any surprises, or it's more unlikely that we'll get any surprises when they come in. All the sonographers are fully qualified, so if they did spot something that hadn't been picked up at the NHS scan, or if we did some measurements and we felt that the baby perhaps wasn't growing as quickly or as much as it should be, then we would refer them back to their GP or their midwife, because we always make sure everyone brings their notes with them so we know who their GP and their midwife is. Uh, but we've never had to so far. With any ultrasound scan, the babies sometimes don't want to show off their best features. And on occasions, where the ultrasonographer can't get a clear view, the clients are sometimes asked to come back another day when their baby is less camera shy.